I need to assign something new to assigning me to copy this. All right, so if we rewind, we've done trick so far. Can you guys tell me what technique or what skills would I use to solve this here, this triangle? What's that special saying? Pythagorean theorem could be one way. What else? Correct. So 90 degree trig. So if you see 90 degree, you're using so Sokotoa. Okay? Sine, cosine, tangent, and go from there. Uh, a couple of you on your assignment. Just because we learned sine law on Friday, you applied sine law to your assignment. We had to realize, like in your assignment, you had a 90 degree person. Like you're standing straight up. Right? Now, also go back on your assignment. I asked you to measure your height and the length of your shadow. Some of you measured, somehow, I have no clue, measured this here instead of your shadow. So make sure you measure the proper points, right? I was asking to find this equation, this angle right here. Okay? So those are the two measurements you should have had. Some of you had that measurement. Now I've went through everything. I've marked it. I've also wrote up some comments. So if you did some stuff wrong, then uh, it's there for you to review and fix up. Then again on Friday, we looked at Oops. Let's see if I can make a nice triangle. There we go. We looked at solving using sine law. And sine law is where we had buddies, if we remember. We had a side, an angle, another side, and we're trying to find this. So we had this set of buddies, and we had this set of buddies. And we used sine x, let's go, let's make that a letter. Sine a over a, oops, all over the place. Sine a over a equals sine b over b, or we used a over sine a equals <laughs> B over sine B. Okay? <laughs> so that's what we used this past week. That's what we used on last Friday whenever we were together. I am that in shape. Alright. The other one we could have used was something like this where we used this side. We're trying to find. Oops. Sixty, forty, twenty. 40, 20. We're working with these buddies. <laughs> but we're trying to find a side instead of an angle. Okay. This time, we're going to use something called cosine law. Okay. I want you on a piece of paper to copy down these two equations. Let's just do these ones right now. Okay. And on your paper, I kind of separate them. This one is for an angle. This one over here is for a side. So let's write those two down just somewhere right now so you know you can refer back to them. I'm not really concerned with the letters. Um, you can be if you wish. But the way I kind of use it, you just substitute. Um, you kind of learn how to use it instead of being slaves to the letters. Okay? 
So once you're done writing that down, just press, uh, like, tell me if you're done, so I kind of know what we're looking at here. No, just these two. Just the two I have, I have circled. This one here, that's your angle one. This one here, let me, this one here is for your side, side for a side length. Geez, Alicia, you've turned from my, like, wait for Alicia to be done till Alicia's now the fastest one in the whole classroom. Oh, you're taking a picture of it. Cheating. Not you're cheating. You're creatively uh, solving. So, the weird way that I have explained cosine law is a sandwich. Okay, it may sound odd, but buddies kind of make sense. If you look up here with our pink and our blue, they kind of have buddies that go together. Right? If you look here, we don't have buddies. Right? Like this one here is a buddy set, right? But neither of these two have a buddy, and we can't figure out the buddy quite easily to find it. The way I look at it, sometimes I explain it as like a sandwich, where this would be like a piece of bread, this is a piece of bread, and we have something in the middle, right? Kind of like a sandwich, okay? But essentially, if you know one thing, you, you automatically know another thing, there's only two options for this. So if you don't have buddies, in a way you can go, oh, well that's going to be cosine law, right? Buddies lead the sine law, cosine law is not with buddies. I kind of look at it as a sandwich here. Now, this one here, we're trying to find a side, okay? So we're going to use this formula up here. So b squared equals c squared plus a squared minus 2. C A cos B. Okay? And the way you look at this formula is whatever side you're using here, the other side lengths are going to be on this side. Okay? Now, in this case, let's figure out what everything is in our formula. I'm going to put big B here. Remember how we label triangles, the one across, that's going to be A, that's B, that's C. So in this case, A is 12, B is unknown, that's my unknown, C is 8, and big B, the angle, is 54. Okay? Do we understand where we got that information from? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Okay, we kind of, then all we're going to do is plug in the information. So, so this is 8 squared plus 12 squared minus 2 times 8 times 12 cos 54. Okay, make sure that's equal sign, looks like I've made it. Now, generally, what I do in my calculator is I will do this section, I'll get an answer, and I'll do this section and get an answer. Unless you have a really nice calculator that you can plug everything in, just like I wrote it. If you have a calculator that I can plug that in just how I wrote it, feel free to. If not, like if you're using a uh, the old Apple phone, do this calculation, write that number down here, 
do this calculation, write that number down there. Okay? So I'm going to give you guys a second to do that. Then I'm going to do it. I'm going to pull out an Apple phone, Apple calculator here. That way, if people have questions. You got the red box is negative one. Five. So let me do the the green box first. Green box is two oh eight. And then the red box fifty four coast. Times twelve times eight times one twelve point eight five. Yep. How many people were able to get those answers? Tell me if you're able if you're good or if you struggled in getting those answers. Good? Okay. Then, let's continue on here with 208 minus 112.9 equals 95.1. Now, is that my answer? Yes or no? Is that my final answer? It doesn't make sense that one side of my triangle be 8, the other side be 12, and the other side is 95. What's my last step I need to do there to get just a B? I just need B. I square root. Good. Make sure you square root at the end. So my answer is going to be 9.8 approximately. Or 9.7, depending on how how many decimal places you went through with. If you have a calculator that can plug all that in at once, you get the most accurate answer. Okay? Thumbs up or thumbs down to understanding how to plug that into your equation, how to plug all that information in. Thumbs up. Try to do this one for me. Okay? I'll leave this one up. I want everyone to try this out for a minute. Okay? Does anyone want me to help out by labeling the triangle? Or here's the question. Am I right in thinking that you guys can solve this right now using the above one as an example. Give me a yes or a no. Who thinks they can answer this? Leash is a yes. Okay. Using the above one as a guide of your thinking, I want you to work on this one. I will give you about four minutes before I start it.
how do you know what side is what side is B and C? Okay. So in some ways, Tej, it doesn't matter what side is A, B, and C. Okay. So if you take a look at our formula, now you could label it yourself. If you like to label them, you can label it yourself by going, if I wanted to use side B as my example here, right? So this would be angle B, this would be side B. I could make this one angle A, which means this would be side A, and then use this one as angle C, and use that as side C, okay? So you could do that, okay? Or what you could do is kind of just recognize the only things that really matter in this case and I'll write down my formula over here. I'll do this one in a different color. Uh, the only things that really matter in this formula is like this part and this part. Making sure that this goes there and this here goes there because these just it doesn't matter if it's a b or c a c it doesn't matter which one right you just put the other two sides in there okay Do you have a question? Yeah. I don't know. I haven't done the question yet. Yep. Which kind of calculator are you using? I think if I can find what's that called Casio what kind of calculator is it If I had a calculator like this one, I could just plug it in all by itself. I could go 11 squared plus 7 squared minus 2, but the key is you got to put these brackets in. See how I have it all in there? Yeah, I'll give them my answer right away. I can plug all that in. If you have a calculator like this, you can just type that in. All so it looks exactly like what I have there. Oh, except I messed up there. Oh. It's a plus. There we go. There we go. Right? 
That will give me 71 point. That'll give me 71. And then how to get there? They're going to take the square root of each side. Okay. Where's my calculator? Then I take the square root of 71. Now, for some people, they could just press square root right away, and it'll do it. So 8.4 is my answer. Can I get a uh, thumbs up if you got the answer correct? Now, sometimes, like, if you got 8.9, it might have been a rounding thing in there. And that's where having a nice calculator where you can just plug everything in makes it a lot easier. I just spent too much time at work between classes. So, am I right, Tej? <laughs> so, how, how do we feel so far about this from everyone out of 10? Let me see responses. Good. Trinity, I want to hear from you too. I haven't heard from you. I haven't heard from Fiona in a little bit. How do we feel? Give me one at one to ten. How do we feel about this? Paris is coming strong. Yep, I can. Then good. 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 I don't know. Trin. Good. Okay. Now, good. Now we're going to look at finding the angle. This is my computer. There we go. Now we're going to look at finding an angle instead of finding a side. Okay. Now, hypothetically, I could teach you how to rearrange everything. How this equation here, this equation is the exact same as this equation, but just rearranged. Some teachers will give you only the equation on my right and make you rearrange it every time, but I'm just going to give you the left. I'm going to give you both of these equations, and you can just use this one here, okay? So in this case, we're trying to find angle C, which is this angle right here, okay? So we're going to use, like now if we wanted to use, we could use this equation here then. We're going to use this equation here. So, we know, let's label our sides, this is C, this is B, and this is A, okay? Now really, the only important one here is making sure the C is the negative, and A and B are just plug in here. So, cos C equals A squared, so 6.7 squared, plus 4.8 squared, minus 2 squared, divided by 2 times 6.7 times 4.8. Does everyone see how I plug that in? Yes, no? Yes. And as with before, with my doing my calculation, I would do this part here plug it in there and do this part here and plug it in there and then do my division from there. And I'll let everyone do their calculation. Uh, 
Oh, wait a second, Marks. I'll be there in two seconds with you. Don't forget your last step, Lawrence. Did you get those two numbers, Lawrence, that I have? That gives you zero zero sorry zero point nine nine four correct now do I know angle C or do I have one last step to do to this question? Don't miss this part, come back. Wait till I finish this. What's my next step to, that I do? Do I just have C yet or not? Post negative one. Right? I gotta move that over. C equals zero point nine nine four cos negative one. Okay. should give you something like 6.1 6.2 is that right seems very small no 6.1 6.2 6.4 somewhere in there that depends if you kept all your decimal places you'll get a more accurate answer okay so I want you to Good. I want everyone to try this question prior to me doing the question. Okay. So if you have a triangle that's not labeled, feel free to go ahead and label it, right? And even if you do have a triangle that's labeled, feel free to erase the label and write ABC on it to fit your own uh, answers, to fit your own formula. Do you have the answer to this one? Type it in chat. No, no, this one here, the next question. Yeah. Then, then once that's done, you're just on your homework. Okay, so Tej, what you have to do, what, what calculator, what calculator are you using? So in that case, I would do this. So some calculators, once you get the previous answer, you can just press cos negative one and it will allow you to press equal. Sometimes it doesn't. So I would do here, like for this question here, is if you don't, for this step, I write cos 63.9 divided by 64.3 and then close that bracket. Oops. And then just press equals and it should give you the answer. So I, I didn't do cos negative one. Shoot. Cos negative one, like that. And it should give you the answer along those lines. Okay? Because if I just go, sometimes if, if I got this previous answer, if I just went 63.9 divided by 
64.3 equals cos negative 1 equals I'll get an error. Okay, does that answer your question, Tesh? Yeah. With the error? No, that's the previous question. I did close to the power of negative one in the bracket, but it says air one. What are you using an Apple or like a iPad calculator or like a one on your like an actual calculator? Okay. What happens if you do this, Tej? Follow my steps. So you went sixty three point nine divided by 64.3 equals, and then press cos negative 1 equals. What happens when you do that? And the other thing everyone should remember is to have their calculator on degrees. Okay, I'll have to come back to you, Tej, to figure out what's going on. Okay? I'm going to do this question for, with everyone, and then I'll come back to you. So, let's go here. So, I'm going to label this. Um, let's label it B. B, B, C, C, A, A. So I'm going to have cos B equals um, 22 squared plus 8 squared minus 16 squared divided by 2 times 22 times 8. So, 22 squared so you should have got 292 on the top and 352 on the bottom okay now Tej, try this. Do you have brackets on your calculator, Tej? Yes or no? Okay. So here's what I want you to type in this time, Tej. Go. Cos. Negative 1. Press that button. Then press the bracket button. That's a bracket. Then 292 divided by 352. And then your other bracket button. Okay? Your answer should be... 33.9? Yeah. How do you know where to put A, B, and C? Uh, you can do however you want to do it. 33.9, 34 is good. So, Nathan, whatever triangle you have, oh, you can do it however you wish. Now, with this triangle, I'll redo this triangle. The capital letters are the angles. Okay, so if you're good to go, you can go on to your homework. I'm coming right back to you, McKen. That's going to get everyone started. Um, you have your homework there. And it's a pretty simple little page, like five questions or so. And it's just finding for the angle and finding for um, a side, for a size as well. Okay? And then the answers, as always, are included in your homework package below. Okay, so always check your answers to check how you're doing with it. So back to you, McCann. So, 
I put A, B, C in different places and got 16. Okay, where did your A go? What's si what was side A for you, McCann? What length? Twenty-two. Okay. So angles are big letters. Um, sides are small letters. Okay. What was your B? What side was B for you, McCann? He was eight. Okay. So this is B, and this would be big B, which would be this is big C, and this is little C. So your formula should look like this then. Cos C equals A squared plus B squared minus C squared divided by 2AB. Does that make sense to you, McCann? Okay. Then your formula would have looked pretty much exactly like mine that I did, which would have been is would have been the exact same. Twenty-two squared plus eight squared minus sixteen squared divided by two times twenty-two times eight. So was your formula when you wrote the numbers in exactly like exactly like mine, McCann? Oh, I see what you did wrong. Okay. It doesn't matter where you put the letters, realistically. You can use any one. And you just use the formula, like of these three formulas, whichever one works for you. Okay? So to be clear, so I don't mess everyone up, we'll be back at 1230.